Hey viewers, uh, in this video I'm just going to uh, show you all how this uh, treadmill incline motor actually uh, works. I've already taken out the main piece here. As you can see it's lined with threads all the way up to the top. Let me get this part. Now I'll just set the camera down so I can take this apart. Gears in the right way. Alright. So we got the back plate just full of grease and stuff. And we got the reduction gears here. Now I got this hooked up, I can run it. So what's happening here is if you look inside this one, there are threads inside there. So when this here rotates, uh, sorry, when this rotates and you hold this still, it's basically like uh, it's turning a screw. Except the you're not actually turning the screw, you're turning what the screw would be screwing into. <laughs> That's a little confusing, but I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. And underneath that is a, I think I call that a thrust bearing or a needle bearing. So that sits on there. And when this goes, see if I can get it in camera view here. So you see now that's now that's threaded onto there. And that's how it turns rotational force into a forward or reverse or I should say a thrust kind of a force. Which is really neat, but uh, when I do these crushing ex experiments I think the weakest part would be this plastic gear. It would might it would probably crack at one of the weak spots and uh or it would ruin the threads and this would just slide through the plastic without grabbing anymore. But uh hopefully that won't happen. The the plastic seems fairly sturdy, a high quality plastic. So yeah. Well, that's the inside of a uh, treadmill motor, treadmill incline motor assembly. And the uh, the only other part is this here, which actually threads into the back of that and prevents prevents it from going out the back end too far. And uh, as soon as I put this back together, I found out that it'll fit inside a a little scanner, printer, copier machine. I'll see what kind of damage it can do stuffed down in here where the cartridge sits. That should prove to be very interesting. Alright, I got it all set up. Piece of wood to brace the back of it. Let's see what this can do. The screwdriver just to keep it from rotating. Wow. And that's reach is full that's fully extended. <laughs> and that didn't seem like it was uh phasing the incline motor that much at all. It was barely slowing down. Let's take a little closer look. Hmm. 
not too much on the back but you can definitely see it going down in the sides here let me bring it back uh, again we'll have a have a better look pull this thing Before I uh, actually put this in, I, I was thinking to myself that uh, this scanner frame, this metal frame in the scanner printer was going to be too much for this and it was going to either stall or break the plastic gear, but it turns out it's the complete opposite. The incline assembly is too powerful for the printer. <laughs> this thing just continues to amaze me. So it's completely bent that metal out right there. And right there is buckled out some. Even the uh, the toner cartridge isn't sitting in there properly anymore. Cool. I'll have to find some other things for this uh, incline assembly to break. <laughs> 